As a scientist, there's a lot of different things you can study, and I think the kind of science I became interested in very early in life was about discovering new things. Many people feel like, oh, there's very little left to explore, but the reality is, is quite the opposite. I spend my life studying the unseen world of microbes, so we spend a lot of time interested in what are the bugs out there that could potentially really harm us as a species. How can we find them and how can we stop them before they spread? We know that throughout history there's been a whole range of these viruses that have been devastating to humans. The reality is we live in this fundamentally interconnected world where viruses from animals are constantly sort of pinging at the human species and occasionally they enter and spread. One of the things we've been very focused on is actually understanding sort of that critical moment at which a pandemic is born. Where are these pools of viruses that could potentially become the next pandemic? The answer to that question is by and large they're in wild animals. So if you ask where in the world we focus, some of the places where we tend to focus are places where there's a tremendous amount of diversity of wild animals. Who's got contact with the widest range of those different organisms? And often it's the people who are butchering these animals. And it's exactly these sorts of things that we think are the agents that may have the potential to become the next HIV, the next global SARS or flu or other pandemic that we're not even sort of capable of thinking about. Right now, if there was a retrovirus like HIV that was spreading around the world, interestingly, we wouldn't know about it. There's always this surprise of like, oh, I'm sure someone's out there determining if there's anything new that's jumping into humans. Uh, not so much. We're actually starting to change the way that this happens. We're really motivating new diagnostics, new approaches, new ways to actually take a particular virus and determine where it's gonna go. The events are conspiring against us with regards to the inevitability a future pandemic. It's not a matter of if, it's just a question of when there's going to be something that's going to come along and be devastating to the human population. What is the chance that one of these viruses that jumps from an animal into a human will spread globally? The answer to that is inevitable. Then the final question is what's the chance that one of these things that enters into humans and spreads globally will be devastating? And I think that that's really just a matter of time. <laughs>